What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of the best team in FIFA. Today we have got a 380 to 390k uh, Premier League slash League One slash Serie A hybrid. Uh, we've got a good mix of uh, three of the, the leagues in there. Uh, the viewer I got this from is using a very offensive setup. He is currently Division 3, Rank 2, um, which is pretty good, to be fair. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get into it. If you guys want your team featured in the best team in, fe featured in, the best team in FIFA, words, they're hard sometimes, uh, then be sure to be following me on socials. All links are down below just to get notified when I do it. Sometimes I do it on stream. Sometimes I do it through Twitter. Sometimes through Instagram. Um, so, yeah, just follow me on all the socials and get notified when. So let's get into building this squad. And we are starting with the best goalkeeper in the game, in my opinion, and that is Donnarumma. Your man's six foot five inches tall with absolutely ridiculously insane stats uh, coming in at how much is how much is the Don? 60k for him. So a big part of the budget actually uh, assigned to Donnarumma. Um, the left back is... Nuno Mensch. 30, oh, you're 33, are you, Mitch? Yeah, fair play, mate. The left back is uh, one of the most, I suppose, overpowered for his, for his rating. Like, super low rated, Nuno Mensch. And then in a centre-back, you're probably thinking, oh, Kimpembe or, or, or Marquinhos or something like that. No. We're going with Sergio Ramos. That's right. And that is the back three. So, Donnarumma, Sergio Ramos, and Nuno Mensch. The chem styles that I have on the players are the chem styles that he has on his players. I have it the exact chemistry that he has it as well. And of course, the idea of the best team in FIFA is to A, play with the team and just see how good it is. And then B, try and give some feedback on if slash where there are any obvious improvements on the team. And I already know in my mind where I think some obvious improvements are going to be. Um, in at right centre back, it is going to be Delict. Now, this is an SBC card. So some of you guys might not be able to get access to this card if you haven't already done it. So if you wanted to emulate this team, you might just have to use a regular Delict. And he is coming in with a shadow. And in a right back, we have got Quadrado with a Sentinel. Very excited to use him. I haven't used him yet. I have a feeling he might be up there as good as Hakimi, and yet he is like 1 one hundredth the price. Um, he came in at like 2K or something like that. Maybe not 1 one hundredth the price, but he's super cheap. Great pace, good defending, very nice dribbling and decent passing and crossing with the five-star skill moves. Uh, in at the cam role that isn't actually the cam role is Arturo Vidal. He's going to be playing at DM. We're actually going to be playing in the 4 triple two as well. And Arturo Vidal on that shadow is going to be playing in the DM role. For me, this card is brilliant. Obviously, I would like Inter to advance and to get the three wins so that he goes up to an 87. I think he might be one of the best. Like, But for this stage in FIFA, a card like that, just don't even. Just don't even. It's just too good. In at this next uh, position, we are going to have Paolo Dybala. I personally didn't like him when I used him uh, on my road to glory for two reasons. Well, three three main reasons that are glaringly obvious here. 70 stamina, 79 composure, 43 aggression. But we're going to give him a shot here. He's got the Hunter Chem style on him, so hopefully get some good boost. But then there is somebody here that I am super excited to try out. And that is Simeone, uh, the special uh, doubled up in form, the special, what is it, the featured team of the week. Um, we're going to be having a sniper on him. He's only three star, three star, but I've used Haaland three star, three star, and he was amazing. I like Simeone a lot. He's got well-rounded dribbling with this chem style, brilliant shooting. His finishing is a bit poor, good pace, um, good jumping and heading and a reasonable passing for a striker. I'm excited to see how good he is for a, you know, extremely low budget in form. Then into the Premier League side of things up front, we're going to be having Romelu Lukaku. One of the initial guys I packed in the road to glory. He's been brilliant. I, like, I know his agility and balance is a bit heavy, so it's going to be quite difficult with that regard, and his passing is terrible, but his pace is good, his shooting is great, his dribbling outside of agility and balance is very good, and he's got that 95 strength to fight off defenders. And in this next role in at Cam is going to be Kevin De Bruyne on an engine. And last but not least in the team is going to be somebody else I'm quite excited to play with, actually. Uh, somebody that I've not used before this year that I have, I have a feeling could be quite good, and that is going to be this special Yuri Tillemans, of course, could also get upgraded. We've got an anchor on him. Low on agility, otherwise dribbling is brilliant. Passing is exceptional. Shooting is quite good. Um, and then with the anchor chem style, the, the boost in pace, defending and physical is quite nice as well. Makes him a really good secondary DM alongside Vidal. This is the team. Now, the reason why I'm, I, I think we might lose our first game in this series uh, here 
is because the custom tactics that Mitch uses are super strange. Um, as I say, he's in Division 3, rank 2. He plays pressure on heavy touch, which isn't strange. 45 width, 45 depth. Nothing wrong with that. Balance build up play with direct passing. Nothing wrong with that. Six players in the box. Nothing wrong with that. 60 width. Nothing wrong with that. Formations 4 triple 2 with Yuri Tillemans and Vidal at DM. Lukaku and Simeone at striker. By Bala and De Bruyne at Cam. Here's where it gets weird, right? Stay central and stay forward on Lukaku. Stay central and stay forward on Simeone. So no getting behind, which straight away is weird because I find that to be a super valuable uh, um, setup in FIFA. Dybala, stay forward and get into box. De Bruyne, stay forward and get into box, which means these front four are staying forwards at all times, which immediately leaves me worried with how I play this game. We're going to have to see how that works. You've then got Yuri Tillemans on balanced everything and Arturo Vidal on stay back and cut passing lanes. And then Nuno Mensch is on overlap and Quadrado is on overlap. So they're going to be getting forward as well. I have a feeling this is just going to leave me mad exposed, but that is the squads, the tactics and the setup. Let's get into some games and see how it plays. We're getting there with regards to qualifying for champs. Once once I've got 1,500 points for this series, we'll only do this series in champs qualification and champs itself. I think it will give a much wider understanding of if the teams are good or not. Because in these low divisions that we're in, you don't know who you're going to match up against, but it's not like the greatest example necessarily. Um, oh, that's a good team though. Rashford, Werner, Sancho, De Bruyne. I'm on PS5 as well. I should go back to PS4 really. I've been having a lot more success PS4, but hey, there we go. Um, but uh, yeah, let's let's get into this uh, into this game. And once I can start doing this in champs, I will. Um, and in champs qualifying, you know, we'll be able to build some real cool teams. I'll be able to play the weekend league kind of like carefree and still try and get like eight or 12 wins and maybe have... Oh, that's a good ball. Oh, that's a good save. That's done a rumor all day, baby. Do you do like that? Oh, he was offside anyway. Never mind. I'm struggling already straight away with the way these tactics are. I've got to adjust very quickly. That's a goal. Oh, my God. That shouldn't be a goal. That is horrific goalkeeping from Donnarumma, that. That is my bad, though. I, I did a driven pass up the field expecting there to be a cam there. Of course, there isn't a cam there because this is not my team or not my setup. Good Dybala into Vidal. Oh, there's Lukaku. There's Lukaku. Oh, what a finish that is. Romelu Lukaku with the time green finish. And an absolute thunderbolt to the top corner there. Nice. Lemons. There's the Bruyne. Long range goal. Love it. Absolutely love it. Another time. I've been I've been practicing and focusing really hard on making sure I time every shot I take green. And I tell you something, guys, it has made a world of difference. Yes, I do mistime them sometimes and do it red and miss very, very easy chances that probably would have gone in if I didn't time it. But the amount of goals I score from timing it green that otherwise wouldn't have gone in is crazy. Oh, didn't name that there. Never mind. Born. Time one. Time one. Boom, there it is. Green time. Keeper makes a save. Hugo Lloris. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Who's at the back post? That's a question. Licked. Wins the header. Romelu Lukaku. 3-1. <laughs> Easy peasy. And Romelu Lukaku coming away with two goals in this first game. And that corner earned from Sime 1. A green time shot. I thought the fullbacks were going to be a lot more attacking because we're on overlap. But they're not. Because they're not actually on get forwards, are they? They're just not on stay back. A bit of space there. Oh, great bit of space there. Yuri Tillemans can't do much with it. Oh, Lukaku again. Green time. It's over. 4-1. Let's go. Lovely little directional nutmeg there. People don't expect it anymore because people don't use it so much. So people don't account for it anymore. Whereas in last year's game, all you would have done there is like try to protect the bridge. And Romelu Lukaku. Hey, I know he's not like your typical meta striker in FIFA. But let me tell you, he has got a bang on him. Got to get that through. Still might. Oh, still might. And there we go again. Another time green shot. Romelu Lukaku this time on the right foot. Didn't need to square it, really. Probably could have tried to, to score with sign one, but 
Penthes, his name's not Simeone. I know, I'm just having a laugh. I just, you know what I mean? Just creating another meme. Here we go again. Memeing and dreaming. Mate, when I went 1-0 one, one down against this guy, I thought we was in trouble. Simeone. Oh. Go on in. Oh, yes. Who was that? Yuri Tillemans with the green time. 6-1 in the 40th minute. My guy. Show yourself some mercy. Back out of the game and move on. This is getting embarrassing. Oh, I've read it that. See, that's what happens when you read it. Bruyne is there. Lovely. Got to get that in the first time. Didn't happen. Judge Ramos mops that up. No problem at all. And then Nuno Mensch. Oh, done him in there, hasn't he? That's where Lukaku lets himself down a little bit. Just super heavy on the turning. As long as you kind of like got a different style of striker alongside him. Doesn't make too much of a difference. Missed that. Unlucky pal. Oh, Romelu. Oh, it's magic. It's magic. It's another one. Romelu. Lukaku. Oh, go on, big Rom. Look at him. Look at him. He's a tank. He's a tank. Oh, big save, Lloris. Oh, I tried to put a bike here. I didn't know if Ramos had it in his locker. Oh, I was hitting that. Oh, I'm hitting that too. Big save at last. His Lloris has made a save. Nice. Oh, Simeone. Love that. Love that. 8 1. Simeone. I think that's his first goal, actually. I think Lukaku has been the uh, the marksman of the uh, of the game, really. That guy tried playing offside traps and all. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's magic. Oh, Kevin De Bruyne. It's green timed. I oh, know I said it about, what, nine times this game? Ah. Who's killing it out here? Oh, that's a ball. Hey, this guy is all over the place, man. All over the place. Another goal. Another day, another dollar, baby. Let's go. Hey, 10 1. Do you know what's crazy? This team isn't 85 rated, which means I don't get the. Uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Which means I don't get the goals for the uh, milestones. I'm going to have to fix that next game. Simeone. Oh, my God. This guy, fair play to him, has just stayed trying the whole time. In spite of the fact he is just getting battered. Oh, dear. Simeone. Hey, I'm even red timing shots and they're going in. I'm just, I can't miss. And that'll be the game. 13 1 for the first game. Well, there you go. Respect to that guy for trying as much as he could for as long as he could. You can't help but tip your hat to that. Romelu Lukaku with six goals and two assists. De Bruyne with four goals and two assists. Simeone with two goals, one assist. Dybala with three assists. Yuri Tillemans with a goal and two assists. And Vidal with an assist. Delict with an assist. Unbelievable scenes. Wonder what the expected goals are for this. I bet it'll be low. I bet it won't be too high because I was hitting green time. Yeah, 9.7. I mean, that is still high, but I scored 13. That's because we're just hitting timed shots all over the place. And we move up again. We're nearly into Division 5 now as well, which is actually quite mad if you think about it. Game number two. What are we saying, EA? 4 4 2. Two are many's nice. Dembele, Griezmann. A couple of nice players in there. Oh, I did make the team 85. Never mind. Remind me, remind me next game. I doubt I'm going to score another 13 goals. I can't imagine too many people will stay in for that sort of punishment, to be honest. Or foul ref. Don't worry about it. De Bruyne. Love that. Mate. I don't know what sort of tactics you've got set up here, Mitch, but these cams just seem to be in very, very, very nice positions all the time. I don't know why De Bruyne was standing in there, but he was. 
And that's all that matters. Oh, Rom. Got to stop just punting the ball at the goal, man. Even if I'm green in it, I've got to stop. Just actually work the chance. The Dow is so good, man. Penrith, let's go, baby. What division is this? Uh, it's almost Division 5 now. Romelu Lukaku, he just doesn't miss, man. That was orange timed as well. Oh, he's through. Oh, yes, he's through. Dybala on his right foot as well. 3-0, let's go. Pull him out. He's to turn inside. He can have that outside space. Well, nice goal. We gave him all the space in the world there. Fair enough. This might be ideal for the counter. Oh, he didn't mean that. Oh, Donnarumma. That's, I tell you what. I don't think Donnarumma is so good. It's two times once per game in the last two games that a really easy shot has gone towards him and he's just kind of like weirdly let it in. That wasn't particularly a great shot. It wasn't from like some overpowered angle or anything. Oh, De Bruyne, I love that. Love. Oh, he's missed it. Didn't get it green, which obviously is why he's missed it, but well, that's a chance that. He, he needs to power that. If he powers that across the keeper, that's 3-3. Three, three. I'm giving up two easy percent. Oh, Ramos has done some weird animation. And he's got another goal. Jesus Christ. Well, we went 3-0 up against this guy and we were cruising. And out of nowhere, he is 3-3. Three, three. One thing that this particular game exposes about this team and why I wouldn't consider it, so to speak, the best team in FIFA... I mean, a press shoot there. Is it, it it lacks monster pace up front? You know, it lacks just a 99 pace. If next to Lukaku, if you had someone like I don't know, Vinicius Junior or j just like someone like that DRB card or something like that, someone with like blistering pace, just off. Oh, didn't name that there. It just offers you a whole different dynamic. As much as I don't necessarily believe pace is everything in FIFA 22. In fact, I'm confident pace isn't everything in FIFA 22. I still do think that having extremely fast players can be super useful on ROM. See here, this is where that pace... That's pen. This is where that pace misses out as well. Go on, Vidal, pal. Greens it. Didn't green it. What a finish that is, though. Arturo Vidal with an absolute bang from the top of the box. Got to stop attacking. This guy has just sat with two men up on the halfway line. And he sat with the rest. Now, now he gets some men breaking up. But watch how his team just drops. Not pressing me. <laughs> he's manually pressing a little bit, but he's not really trying to come and get this ball. On the run. Ah, beautiful. That is one of the best goals, best team goals I've scored in FIFA. Lots of good possession there. Lots of good passing. Worked the angle. Got the chance. Hit the goal. Boom. 5-3. Let's go. On Yuri. Oh, yes. Mainyang can't stop those top corner goals, lads. Just can't stop them. 6-3 in the end. We went 3-0 up. This guy pulled, put some work in and pulled it back to 3-3. We end up winning 6-3. I think De Bruyne did most of the work there. What would the goal spread look like? One for Lukaku with two assists. Two for De Bruyne with zero assists. A goal and an assist each for Dybala and Tillemans. Vidal with a goal. And Quadrado with an assist. Lovely stuff. A lot of time for Nesh shots on the top of the box in that one. Um, let's get into game number three. And here we go for game three. What are we going to come up against today? Or for this game, anyway. One more game after this one. Nice. Good squad. Good Premier League squad. Kim Pembe in there as well. <clears throat> Let's see if we can uh, bang another whole bunch of goals. Yeah, the the the, the most... The, the things I most noticed with this team... Okay, granted, it's just been two games, right? But the thing I most noticed with this team 
Um, the lack of a five-star weak foot player. Is, I know Tillemans and De Bruyne have it, but like as, for a striker, I think is uh, is quite damaging. I think if you if you took out Simeone and just put anybody that works there with a good like this good with five-star weak foot, right? I think that would be much much better. Um, and then I think you just miss out on a lot of pace. You know, again, Simeone. If you take Simeone out and replace him for, for someone like, for example, Hyung Min Son, I think that would would transform this team way more. Sterling out fighting. Uh, and again, got a free kick for it too. God damn. And that was a very fine read. Pull away, baby. There's Simeone with the green time. Let's go. Simeone. I didn't green it. If I green that, it goes in. My bad. Oh, Penrith. Thank you very much. De Bruyne with the skills, mate. Skills to pay the bills, baby. Yeah, he plugged it back in. I, I can't help you, my friend. Sorry, pal. Right, I was trying a different penalty technique there. I want to see what would happen if I just went like, down the middle of the... Or in the middle of the goal. That again is where Lukaku kind of just lets you down, right? Yeah, he'll bang goals. But you just don't trust that foot there, do you? All my days. Oh my darling, oh my darling, oh my darling. Zgoop. Penrith. Let's go, baby. There's two penalties won from Roulette. Well, he's made a genuine attempt to play the ball. So penalty, yes. Yellow card, no. Let's go. Romelu Lukaku with the goal. It's two. Nice to Bruna. There it is. Oh, my days. What an awful pass that is. I think this guy might be quitting. He's, he can't, can't even get out of his own third. Yeah, that's that's a game over. That's another win. Hey, that gets our three wins for the weekly rewards. Not bad. Cheers, little pineapple, baby. Let's go. Pineapple, apple, pan. What? I will see you guys in game number... How many points do we get for that win there? 100. Game number four. The next episode... We should be able to get into qualification for champs right at the end of the season. Probably the worst time for it. But once we get into champs, we won't have to keep accumulating the points. So I'll be fine. Let's get into the fourth and final game. All right, guys, here we go. What I say? Hero Melito is a good shout. Has he got five-star weak foot? If so, then yes, he would be a good shout. Welcome everyone on a he really would be. I, I didn't even look at this guy's team. I don't know who he's got. Is that Lewandowski? Yeah, it is. Okay. Hey, Dow. Mione. Babala. Oh, he's dancing. Oh, he's dancing. Babala. Oof, almost. Oh, Lukaku. Stop that right now. That is magic. Kevin De Bruyne sets us off with that first goal. From Lukaku with an absolutely beautiful pass. Andrado's there. Oh, this guy's got Holland as well. Oh, my days. What a cross. Hey. I've got, I've got to be honest. I don't like Donnarumma. Let's see about the delivery. I just... It doesn't give me confidence, man. Well, Oop, that's my bad. On Rom. Oh, this is where Rom does get a good pace. Just on that straight line speed. As he gets caught up by absolutely every defender in the history of the world. The Delict has been real good. Real strong. Very good on the ball as well for Delict. Oh, let's go. Simeone with a goal. Lukaku with another assist. Really good work from Lukaku in the box there as well. Oh, lovely. Lovely. What a... Was he offside? Ah! Oh. I, I really, really, really thought I'd time that pass well. My ball. Love that. His ball. Hate that. But he's a goal here. Yep. Oh my days. What a save that is from Donnarumma. Go 
on, Rom. Oh, big save from Neuer, that, to be fair. Love that. Love that. Oh, love that. Simeone with another bang there. And this guy's going to be gone as well. And that is that. And that will be the end of the gameplay for today. Lots of goals. Two assists from Lukaku. Two goals for Simeone. One goal for De Bruyne. One assist for Dybala. Um, my thoughts on this team. Now, I know we're in Division 5. I'm up to rank, almost rank 1, though. It's not bad. Three games away from qualifying for champs or getting the champs playoffs. This team, for 400k, it is brilliant. Right? 400k in FIFA is super easy to come across. You could even downgrade this team super, super easy with terms of price and just get rid of Donnarumma and get Kaylor Navas instead. Um, you could also get the regular Delict, which would save you and basically halve the whole thing. Um, the L Lukaku is a beast, but he needs to be accompanied by someone who has rapid pace and five-star weak foot. Or at the very least, rapid pace. Like a Mane, a Salah, a Son. Someone like that would be perfect. Or Melito, if you're going to use him. Fidal is brilliant. Dybala is good. Not great. He's got a lot of assists, Dybala. Six in four games. But only one goal contribution. Or only one goal from him. In four games where we scored about, what, 25 goals. Um, isn't good enough, uh, really, if we're being honest. Um, Tillemans was very good. Scored two goals, right? This card is very, very, very good. For 33k, four-star skill moves, five-star weak foot, and just brilliantly well-rounded. Super, super, super undervalued. I think he fits into so many teams as well. I think this is a quality card. De Bruyne quality, Nuno Menge quality, Ramos quality, De Ligt and Quadrado. Quadrado is brilliant quality. Bit iffy about Donnarumma. Not sure if I like him too much. Um, my main changes in this team would probably be Dybala for a better cam and Simeone for a better striker. Uh, but I was excited to use this guy, and he did he did perform, right? Five goals in four games with one assist. Not too bad. He got two goals of those in the last game, though. Um, all in all, is this the best team in FIFA? W what I think the best team in FIFA is this year is can this team get you rank one in champs? And can this team get you elite division in rivals? And the answer to that question is yes, it can. It is good enough to get you to elite division. It is good enough to get you rank one. It just needs a few minor changes and it might make that a bit easier. For 380, 390k, this is an absolutely sensational team and I give it a, a solid 9 out of 10. I think people would thoroughly enjoy playing with this. It's not your meta team that you normally see, but it's got a bit of everything, which is brilliant. That is going to be the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.